Hi everybody. All right, it's time to do the big deed and cut a hole through the roof. I got two Max fans going in. Um, and it's always a little scary when you have this beautiful roof that's watertight to just cut a big gigantic hole in it, but I think this is my second time, so. Did you say watertight, big gigantic hole, and that's where we sleep right below? Yes. I don't, <laughs> I don't want drippies on my head. Oh, you already have it marked out, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you were just free, free balling it. Yeah. <laughs> Can you? It's gonna fall. Oh, that's where I was hitting. Right. Didn't you know that, that you knew that was in there, remember? I just forgot, I was catching something and I couldn't understand what was stopping me. Big it's piece, the, two by four. This is, this is the wood that I was using. There's that two by three. To mount the ceiling. There's my hole. Now I gotta go from the bottom and finish it. Do you need me up here on this roof? I think I'm done, say goodbye. Maybe underneath. You guys want to see us cutting the cutting the hole, and you can see to the sky. Maybe. That's so exciting. I know. It's so exciting. I hear that rooster. <sighs> Kitchen, stove, fridge is coming tomorrow. <gasps> I'm gonna make a mess. I'm glad you have those glasses. I was worried about you. Thank you so much for getting me. I was. I just don't want you getting sawdust in your eyes. I mean, you're 99% of all the work we do here. <laughs> we can't. We can't have you go blind, honey. You're right. Good call. Okay, really, 99%. Give me. You're not gonna give me even 10%. You're 90%. Give me 10%. Sure. Okay. Yes. <laughs> You're a little bit covered. Would you like me to come dust you off with a towel? No. Okay. Not done yet. Let's see if I can pop this off. There we go. My fancy glue work. Nice. It held. It did. With a butcher knife. Let's see what this does. You mean the good white knife that you've been using for everything? Your white cook knife? Yeah. Wow. It's become a utility knife. It's a good thing I brought my good Cutco knife for our kitchen. Okay, so he's going back up on the roof. So exciting. We're going to see some something fall through the hole. Hopefully it's not Vince that falls through the hole. That sounds like he's sawing by hand, friend. Ow, you hit me. Just kidding. <laughs> Hello. Hello. We have a hole in our roof. Yay. Just like I have holes in my head. Ooh, pretty sky. Hey, folks. It is in the evening. I'm after a long day of work, so I didn't get any stuff done on the trailer, but I uh, just thought I'd show you what Grace got done and what we did yesterday. We hauled butt. So I don't know if you've seen this, but this was the vent that was already present. And can you see right up in there where the break the crack is, right in the middle? So this is a cheap ceiling vent. So we got a huge hailstorm and it shattered, it cracked it all over. So luckily I have all this epoxy, I cleaned it and I poured epoxy all over the top um, and it worked great. Man, that thing is rock solid now. So Grace has been doing a lot of work. Here's our new refrigerator right there. That's gonna go in and she's been painting 
Lots of cool colors here. Here's one of our Max Fan vents that works really. We, it's not plugged in yet, but it works. It, it was a very easy install. Get it out of the way. These are epoxy. Such a pretty color and nice and glossy. So that's what we, our big thing was putting in our ceiling vents, our two ceiling vents, sealing up the third one. And then I found a bunch of spots that weren't properly sealed. Uh, well, I wouldn't say a bunch. I found two spots where there's a possibility that could have been leakage, so I, I used the, um, the sealant on it. Um, and we got a weekend coming up where I have, I have a three day weekend from work and I'm gonna be busting hump to get the drawers in, get the bathroom finished, lots of stuff. Get the bathroom fully working, get the water system fully working, so this is gonna be a long weekend. We're gonna, I'm gonna be working hard this weekend. Since I'm working almost 40 hours a week, like I have to pack it in when I get a chance. All right, everybody. Hope you're having a wonderful day and blessings.